Hello there everyone, Self and Bart here, and welcome to another movie review. You know what one of my favorite TV show is? Digimon. You know what's more awesome than that? Their own movie. That's right. The movie I'm gonna review is... Digimon the Movie. The movie is based on an anime TV show called Digimon Digital Monsters, featuring the characters from the first two seasons. The movie is a combination of three stories in one. The first is about Tai and Kari as toddlers, getting a Digimon named Koromon, who digivolves to Agumon, then Greymon, up to battle a Digimon named Paramon. The second is about Izzy, Tai, Matt, and TK sending their Digimons through the internet to fight a Digimon that is infecting all electrical and computer systems. And the third is about a small group of Digidestined fighting off a virus-infected Digimon named Kokomon, along with a new Digidestined Willis and his Digimon Terriamon. So what do I think about this movie? Well, I find it to be a fun and awesome picture. But maybe not as awesome as I thought it was. I mean, it does have all the corny lines and food references from the original show, and yet I still don't mind, even if it is a little distracting. The ending in continuity does get a little clumsy within the third story, but I don't mind, and I give it a pass. But hey, if you can't get over all that, deal with it. The film does open with Angela Anaconda and her friends going into a movie theater to see the movie. And this would have worked more as just a separate short rather than just being part of the film. And yeah, it is kind of pointless having it in there because it doesn't connect to anything at all. But it is a way of Fox Kids to promote a movie by showcasing a show that they own. The food that Mrs. Kamiya makes is interesting in that this is what she makes. Beef jerky shakes, liver sticks, spinach cookies, and potato juice. Boy, I think she should have her own cooking show. The songs that are used for this movie are pretty awesome. Some of them are from the TV show, while others were well known back then. Though every time I listen to a song, I always think of one thing. When I think of one week from Bare Naked Ladies, I think of the scene from this movie. When I hear All Star from Smash Mouth, all I think of is the opening to Shrek. And the voice actors for this movie are really good. Laura Jo Miller, Joshua Seff, Jeff Nimoy, Stephen Bloom, Wendy Lee, Bob Pappenbrook, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, and a whole lot of others. As a whole, this movie is fun and awesome. The characters are fun. The story, while not being a flowing narrative at times, is good. The animation is awesome. And the music and songs are fun to listen to. With the works of directors Takaki Yamashita, Hisashi Nakaima, and Masashira Azawa, and the adaptations of Jeff Nimoy and Bob Buchholz together, makes a fun and awesome movie for any Digimon fan. So today, this movie will be given a rating of... 4 stars. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this review, and tune in next week for a new video.